All right, our first encounter with limits. They say evaluate the following limit, and what they give is, you read this, the limit as x goes to 3 of 2x squared minus 4x. So we want to know how this expression behaves as x gets very close to 3. And the thing to try first, always, is just put 3 into this expression and see how it behaves. Sometimes they're undefined, but this one is going to work just fine. 4 times 3. 3 squared is 9 times 2 is 18, minus 4 times 3 is 12, and that gives 6. So the limit here is simply 6. This was pretty easy. Notice uh, they made a mistake doing the example. This 18 minus 12, they apparently were thinking 18 plus 12, and so they added up and got 30 wrong. The correct limit is 6. Sorry about that. For the second example, again, they give us limit as x goes to 20 of 2x squared minus 10x. Again, there's no reason to think that this is going to misbehave when x is 20, so just sub it in. 2 times 20 squared minus 10 times 20. Uh, 20 squared is 400. Double that, you get 800 minus 200 should be 600, and this time they got it right. So. Always try that first. These are the first two limits. They're going easy on us and giving us expressions that are well behaved. Later, we're going to run into expressions where you put in this limit value and it comes out undefined, and then we'll have more work to do. But for now, this is it.